The 30 second commercial is a basic conversation. It's not canned, it's not an elevator talk, and it's, it seems natural. That's the whole purpose behind it. Um, a couple years ago, I was on a flight from Seattle to Austin, and next to me was a gentleman who was the sales VP um, of his company. And as we sat there talking, we, we took off and we just engaged in a conversation. He was very affable and he liked talking about his work, his family and, and himself. And I enjoyed the conversation. Uh, an hour or two into it, he said, hey, Richard, what is it that you do? And, and this is what I said to him. I said, you know how some companies uh, always have these very intelligent, high IQ people, but socially um, they're not really good. As a matter of fact, they kind of push people away or maybe they're even bullies. He says, well, that's what I do. I work with people on emotional intelligence. In fact, one of the things that I found to be very effective is with sales, connecting emotional intelligence and sales. And he asked three or four questions after that, so he took it a little bit deeper, and then we changed subjects back to him again, which is pretty typical. I asked him, just as we were getting off the plane for his mailing address, I said, I'd like to send you a book I wrote on this. Would that be okay? He said, yeah, I'd really enjoy that. So I sent him the book. A month later, he called me and booked me to teach the annual sales training for his entire department. I just gave him my speech. I didn't try to sell him, but I knew what he was interested in just by the conversation. Most people are interested in something along that line. In your line of work as a sales professional, some people just don't want to hear what you have to say. Some people do. So tell a story. The story is what captures them and they don't feel manipulated that will be much more effective.